thank you so much for watching this Angel League TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean like episode six yeah <laughs> Episode number six. This series consists of about 15 to 16 episodes. So um, we still we still in the beginning stages, you know. I'm not gonna talk too much because I have been noticing a lot of y'all watching my videos, but y'all ain't motherfucking like subscribing. And I'm trying to figure out what, what what's the problem. What, what what is what is really the issue? Do I be having boogers in my nose? Like what is it? Like why y'all don't be fucking with me like that? And I, I don't really appreciate that. So if you wanted them and you know you wanted them. If you watching this and you like, damn, she got my ass. Yeah, I got your ass. So go ahead and get your ass up and press the subscribe button. Because I want you to be part of this family. I promise you will not be disappointed. And also hit that notification bell. That way you can keep up whenever I do post. And you want to make sure to hit that thumbs up button because I need y'all to keep thumbing it up as much as y'all can. I, I've, I've been seeing y'all. Y'all been doing y'all thing. But continue to do y'all thing by hitting that thumbs up button because it does help you, girl. Oh, and before I continue, if the lighting looks a little, like, orangey or just, like, different, it's because I don't have my ring light up. I'm wearing my glasses today because these last few store times I haven't been wearing my glasses and I haven't been wearing my contacts either because I need some more contacts. I've been recording blind. When I say I can't see bitch, I cannot see nothing. So I would have to like every so often get up and close in front of the camera to make sure that the record button was still on. Not only that, but when I tell you that rain like we having this whole bathroom feel like a motherfucker son of a bitch. I be really fighting for my life trying to record these story times for y'all. But I do it because I love y'all and I love that y'all love me. So let's get into this motherfucker story, okay? Daddy look at my father. Swear for God I never want to see another. Goals on the top, on the bottom, way up under. Arguing on the phone. I know last story time I left y'all on a cliffhanger because I know y'all probably was like, okay, well... Did the bitch get a baby? Like, what's going on? I don't, girl, let me tell y'all. If you're trying to figure out what I'm talking about, that means that you just need to go ahead and stop this video and go back and watch episodes one through five. By the way, just a warning, episode four, it gets real. So go ahead and do that because it, it all is going to make sense. This is a whole series of 15 to 16 episode series that I'm doing. So you need to be informed and make sure that you on the same page. So last story time, we left off at Katrina pulling up to Darius' people house to try to retrieve her baby. You know, the newborn baby that he took up and left and refused to allow her to um take because he felt like she wasn't mentally stable which really i don't feel like that was the real reason i just felt like he just used that as an excuse to like oh okay bet i could just be this single single black dad and she was like hey i came to see the baby they gave her the baby when i said they i mean darius's dad and um his mom was there as well but at this point it was just darius dad and all everything that i'm telling y'all this is the, what exactly um, Katrina told me after the situation happened so that's how I know about it right because obviously I wasn't there I was at the house after like she held the baby for a couple of minutes or whatever played with her for a little bit and then when she was ready to go she told them and why she did it I don't know but I'm just tell y'all like it is <laughs> she told the dad I'm taking the baby I'm taking her she's coming home with me <laughs> why she announced it I don't know um, and and I don't know, but she announced that she was taking a baby. And girl, <laughs> Darius daddy wasn't having that. As she tries to leave with the baby, I mean, he pins her arms down on the couch to stop her from leaving. And so immediately he calls his wife to tell his wife to come grab the baby out Katrina's hand because she wasn't taking that baby in his exact words. You're not taking this baby nowhere. They said, you gotta leave, get up out here. Darius didn't tell us that you was doing none of this. Like, we feel like you being sneaky because you know Darius, he at work. now. I don't know how he found out about this so quick and I'm thinking maybe the moment Katrina pulled up and knocked on the door that's when probably his mom texted him and was like hey just a heads up Katrina is here because Katrina did not tell Darius that she was coming there you know what I'm saying so uh, I think that's probably why so after they told her that she had to get the fuck out the house all of a sudden the police and Darius pulls up together. The police finally pull up, even though the police told her ass to wait, which she did not do, which she should have. Because the cooking went a lot, a lot different, in my opinion, I felt like. 
um but she didn't do that she went with her move as darius is pulling up the police you know he, he trying to figure out what's going on you know police talking to darius parents and um police talking to darius as well um to try to figure out what's going on and the police officer came to the conclusion that this was a civil matter and that it wasn't shit that he could do about it which i understand in the state of texas they don't they don't and i don't really think any states honestly um enforces like police rather i don't think any state have have it to where police officers can enforce custody custody orders or whatever the case my job it wasn't no order of nothing <laughs> darius wasn't even on the birth certificate at this point because in the state of texas i don't know where it is where y'all at but in the state of texas because she was married darius was unable to be on the birth certificate um even though the baby did have darius last name that meant nothing to, to the state of Texas, you know, that didn't mean anything. He wasn't legitimized for, as far as custody goes with the baby, but the police officers didn't know that. It's, they, it's his word against theirs, you know what I'm saying? Or it's his word against hers. So um, they, don't, they don't get into none of that. So um, the police officer ended up talking to Katrina after he, you know, got everybody's side of the story. And he was pissed. He was pissed at Katrina because he said he told her to wait. What happened was she called the cops to tell them that she needed someone to escort her. Um, and then they had a, a deputy. They I guess they figured out who was in the area of vision. They, that deputy ended up calling Katrina and saying, hey, you know, I'm up the street or wherever I was. Just sit where you are and wait for me. She did not wait. So um, she all of this commotion really happened because she didn't wait because i highly doubt i highly doubt if katrina would have pulled up with the police officers at their door instead of doing it on her own but even if they did alert darius and saying hey katrina is here like she technically would have had enough time to get her baby and did because at that point i don't think police officers can tell you is a civil matter between a grandparent. I mean, I don't know, I could be wrong, I don't know. They told her she could not come back there. Darius ended up just basically telling her, look, Katrina, you want to take me to court in order to see this baby. That's all that just goes down. <laughs> she does the the walk of shame back in the house. Cause I thought she was gonna come with the baby. I just knew, like, they gonna give her the baby, right? Like, it's, it's, no, it's no reason for them not to give this girl her baby. Like, she ain't did nothing to nobody or anything like that yeah she was having her little her little moment or whatever but bitch i've had darker moments before like i've been in a whole mental hospital at one point so i'd be damned if somebody told me that i can't have my baby and me and my husband we were like flabbergasted we were just like i know you motherfucking lying i'm thinking in my head like why didn't you just wait for the officer like what you waited all this time after this situation happened um, my husband immediately was like talking to Darius' his sister and was just trying to figure out like like what the fuck went down because she actually wasn't at the house at the time. Her husband was uh, because Darius' dad lives with Darius' sister and stuff like that. So, and they were just kind of lacing us up on the situation as well. And the story pretty much matched with Katrina said the only thing that he wasn't able to confirm was just the fact that Harry's his dad, you know, pinned her down, put his hands on her or whatever. That's the only thing that he wasn't there to really just see for himself. Everybody trying to figure out like what can we do to help you? Everybody else got enough going on in their life. The last thing they want to do is deal with somebody else's damn bullshit, right? Especially this. Like I've I've I didn't me at this point, me and my husband have both gone through situations with like custody disputes in our past so we kind of already know what it is we kind of already knowing like yeah she probably ain't gonna see a baby until she really go to court like for real for real um because it, she at this point she couldn't go back to the house to go get her until i showed the fuck wasn't going to do that that wasn't my damn place to do so it was she was just really kind of in a in a sticky situation like all together maybe about a couple days to a week or so later Darius, his sister and my husband they kind of somewhat orchestrated some type of i can't even call it intervention because it really wasn't that but they were just trying to figure out okay well instead of them going to court why not they just come up with a agreement and write it down on paper and get notarized so i actually did that with my son's father in the like very 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 beginning whenever he thought himself trying to do the same thing right idea wrong bitch i definitely have to show him that it allowed her back to the house for this particular reason and that was so that they can try to figure out if they could come up to an agreement Darius was asking for a little bit more time than katrina um wanted katrina basically wanted to 
have her most of the time and I don't really remember the exact days but it was like first half of the week first four or five days Katrina wanted to have her and then the other remaining days Katrina wanted Darius to have the baby and Darius wasn't going for that Darius was like I know I'm not I'm not about to be no part-time daddy I've been in her life since day one so I'm not doing that so long story short that didn't work out they ended up back at square one with Darius just telling her like you just gonna have to take me to court because I'm not letting you take my baby nowhere after she had the baby Katrina ended up getting a job at Darius's mom's job the same job that he caused her to not have transportation to get to yeah that job she's still working there I don't know how often Katrina would like text Darius and say oh I want to see the baby or can I have her can can she spend time with me I don't know how often but apparently according to her she would do it like on a weekly basis if not every other day I don't I doubt it was every other day I highly doubt it was every other day but you know she probably did it at least once a week or something like that I'll give her that but I'm not gonna give her no every other day and y'all gonna probably understand why I'm gonna why I'm saying this towards the end she wanted to have some type of paper trail to him denying her access to the baby right one point Darius thought it was a good idea it was like i'll bring the baby to see you at work what time you go on lunch it was ghetto as fuck but katrina she agreed to it and honestly i probably would have agreed to it as well because it's like i can't do anything else i can't see the baby any other way he brings the baby to see her um at work like he, the baby's still in the car in a car seat and he like walked off a couple of inches or feet away so she you know spending time with the baby for the little 30 minutes child and that was that yeah at this point he is gonna have had that baby for six months i'm just saying i say that was the only time throughout that entire ordeal that was the only time that she saw her baby before he picked up and, and left off with her right a couple weeks gone by and katrina got in her mind like okay it's about to be tax season as soon as i get my tax money i'm gonna give me a motherfucking lawyer as she should have i'm just like yeah girl go ahead and do what you gotta do because i'll be doing the same thing because i don't play by my kids you know this is just me just telling her what i think about the situation it also got to the point where katrina became uncomfortable working at the same workplace as his mom like mind you this is the same same person that snatched her baby out of her arms so i can understand that <laughs> so she started looking for another job she found another job actually she started working at amazon in a little warehouse y'all know what they say about the warehouse jobs but um i don't want to say too much right now <laughs> i was happy for her i'm glad that she was able to you know actually do that because i knew that had been bothering her and also around the time that she started looking for a job even though I wasn't driving my SUV, you know, at all, um, it's just still some fact that I'm paying insurance for. Like, I'm paying insurance for something I'm not driving. I'd rather me pay insurance for something that I'm not driving and have it sitting in my garage rather than paying insurance for something that somebody else is driving. So, I'm just like, I just, she just needs another car. Like, I, I, I was just hoping and praying that something came through to where she eventually got a car. But I just didn't know how that was going to come about until i got a job at drive town used car sales and i'm telling you the company because the bitch don't work there no goddamn more so i got a work from home job working at drive time and so after i discovered how the whole dealership shit worked right i told katrina i'm like look go on drive time and apply for a car because you might be able to get a, a good little cheap down payment right and so that's exactly what she did and so she actually got approved for a 95 dollars down payment okay i know that's not looking right that's that's perfect but unfortunately she didn't have the money at that time so i'm just like don't worry about it like i got it i'll just give it back to me whenever you, you know can or whatever so the same day she got approved i drove her to the damn car dealership so that she could do what she had to do she picked out a car now if you got a car from drive time please don't get another one all right yeah yo down payment they telling you your down payment 95 dollars but you really about to get like the lowest bottom barrel choice <laughs> of a vehicle for that amount of money she got the car girl drove off i was so fucking happy for her i even put her on my insurance um, also at this time I knew she was going to be getting a car note uh, or adding a, an extra bill that she didn't have before so I was like you know what don't worry about none of the side bills just make sure you pay uh, your car note obviously of course make sure you pay the insurance because the insurance is in my name so she has to pay me and like her portion of the rent but anything else like water bill cable gas she no longer paid for at that point because I was trying to help her because I just felt like it would be doing a disservice to us if 
she's struggling to pay bills you know what i'm saying so if if we're able to afford it without putting ourselves in a hole then why not as i speak and as i say this i want y'all to remember what i'm saying i agreed to do this temporarily under the intention that eventually like she'll get a better paying job because even though she just had started working from amazon she was only making 50 cents more you know so it really wasn't a big difference from her last job the only difference was she wasn't she was no longer working with her i guess you can call it ex-mother-in-law it didn't bother her that she wasn't moving on to a job that necessarily paid bigger she just wanted to go somewhere that paid her and where she was able to be comfortable so she got her little cute white chevy spark she also starts dibbling dabbling you know in a dating dating scene or whatever which i was honestly surprised about because if i hadn't seen my child my newborn child in months dick would have been the last thing that i was going to be thinking about but that's just me that's just me to each his own and i know this specifically because at this time like i said her and i became a little bit closer because you know this whole situation brought everybody closer so she would talk to me about it and based on what she told me this was a guy that she knew like from her past and he, you know he just kind of came back up you know niggas love spending a block but sometimes spending a block is is necessary okay and if you know my story you know why i said that <laughs> she told me that she did actually disclose her diagnosis with him i don't think she did it right away she didn't wait too long to tell him either again i know this because she directly told me this she told him about the diagnosis she was super super scared like she she was nervous but she's you know knew that it was something that she needed to do and so she told him and she said that he was accepting of it you know she said that he took it a lot better than she thought he would have and um she was just waiting to see how things continued on with them after him knowing the news or whatever and i was really really proud of her because to be quite honest i don't know if i would have had the balls to do that honestly i feel like i probably and, and i ain't much gonna say it because you never know how you would react or how you would handle a situation until you're actually in it but just me talking right now like i don't think i would have had the balls to tell anybody that i have something like that so instead of me having to tell somebody that i just probably wouldn't deal with the person at all that's a tough conversation to have she told me that he told her that he just didn't think that there was something that he could really like get past which is understandable everyone is entitled to how they feel you know some people could get past it well a lot of people could get past that actually um you just gotta find that person but a lot of people also can't get past that you know so that was very understanding, but I, I could tell like that kind of fucked with her ego. It was settling in before, but now it's like now that she's single and trying to get out there in the dating, you know, dating scene like she was before. Now she's starting to realize that shit ain't gonna be easy like it was before. Katrina, she's a very pretty girl. She don't have no issue with finding nobody. And so after that situation, I always wondered like I hope that doesn't cause her to not be honest with people in the future. Not everybody's gonna feel the way that old dude felt. You know what I'm saying? So I really in the back of my head at this time I was just hoping and praying that like she didn't give up on love and that she just really stayed encouraged about the whole situation so girl tax time came and motherfucking went i believe she was already looking up lawyers before tax time came before she got her little money or whatever so she already had that in place so when she did get her money all she had to do was pay her her retainer fee uh i think that's what you call it the retainer fee or whatever um and it was three thousand dollars she had to pay and i remember this because she told me um she had to pay three thousand dollars like up front this is before anything was filed for anything was anything but she had to give the people or the attorney three thousand dollars eventually they ended up having to serve darius um and then they came up with a court date for april so at this point we are now in april of 2021 a year into covid and uh, shit is still very well virtual <laughs> and so they did virtual court if a fly was on a motherfucker wall that day bitch it would have been me because i was a fly on that damn wall for at least the beginning of uh the hearing so her attorney he did his thing he proved his point i don't remember exactly what the attorney said but basically the attorney was like ma'am like this guy isn't even on the birth certificate like she's married to somebody else someone else is legally this child's father and you mean to tell me he could just keep her from her mama like she can't do that that's that was that's what his argument was i remember that was his argument child and he was absolutely the fuck correct that's why you gotta be careful who you have kids with 
that's all I gotta say. So at this point, it was definitely playing in Katrina's favor. And um, oh, and I forgot to mention, so she was in her room, obviously, um, on, during a Zoom meeting. And she was on one side of the room and I was on the other side, like, listening and shit it was time for Darius to speak and give his side of the story at this time i had to leave out the room i'll take care of my baby or something like that so i actually wasn't in the room for this but i do remember what katrina told me she would just tell me how Darius put on a motherfucking show bitch Darius had glasses on bitch Darius don't even wear the motherfucking glasses bitch i ain't never seen Darius with a pair of glasses on so i knew he was just trying to you know look up the part look like a single black dad i get it you know what i'm saying i get it he was trying to play your part <laughs> the judge trying to figure out like why she can't see her baby why are you telling her that she cannot see her baby and so or y'all baby rather so he was just explaining how pretty much the same type of situation as far as her not being mentally capable of taking care of her or whatever and then he brought up the damn hiv bitch <laughs> i ain't never heard nobody bring up hiv or std as a reason why somebody can't be a damn parent he told the judge that he feels that danger to others that are living in the same house as her because she has HIV and one time he got up to go use the bathroom and she had blood on a toilet seat. I've never heard this story before. Y'all know Darius, he come and tell us pretty much everything, right? I've never heard this story before prior to, you know, this situation. So whenever she told me that, I was like, what? Like before she even told me that shit wasn't true, I knew that shit wasn't true because he ain't ever told me no damn shit like that. Even if that was true, why would you even bring that up? That's not helping your case at all. If anything, it just makes you look like an ass for judging her parenting skills based on uh, my chart results. Like long story short, at the end of it all, they, you know, they took a little recess or whatever. And then once they came back, the, the judge awarded Katrina back the baby immediately. He could meet up with her at a, a police station or whatever if they're more comfortable with doing it that way, which they did, um, so that she could get her baby. And they would have to set up another court day at a later time to be able to establish paternity the proper way and to be able to, you know, establish custody and all of that the proper way. He was trying to go below the belt. <laughs> and he did go below the belt with that whole blood on the toilet type situation, but it didn't work in his favor. She got her baby back, y'all. She got her baby back and I was so happy oh girl i could have cried i probably did cry bitch and shit at least a tear too because i was just like oh finally after six months because mind y'all katrina missed a lot of different milestones of her first daughter she missed a lot of different milestones at this point the baby was sitting up on her own and everything you know and she missed all of that and she only got to see her one time from the time that she was a month old up until six months she only got to see her in person one time until she have to take this this nasty custody battle situation to court child we all felt relieved for a second i told y'all how many episodes this was oh okay we just on six you would think the whole custody sh situation you would think that would be a a fairy tale ending or whatever you want to call it or a happy ending bitch fuck no girl next story time we're gonna get into some motherfucking tea honey and on that note i'm stopping the story time because let me tell you my camera died three times while filming this actually i was supposed to record a whole nother story time for y'all um but then as i was talking about it i was like wait you need to do a series on that as y'all are watching these series i am in the works of another series that being said don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you see me on your recommendations hit the subscribe button the subscribe button is for you learn how to hit that subscribe button and stop being nosy and, and looking at from the outside on in no come on in because i promise you will not be disappointed go ahead and hit that like button and also hit that notification bell that way you can know whenever i post next time but like i always tell y'all my series is going to post on fridays at 6 p.m and my camera about to die again so i'm gonna see y'all later i love y'all bye